Hi everyone, Shoney from Shoney Gaming here and uh, today we are going to have another beautiful flight but first I want to have a small look back uh, on uh, last week what happened there was a lot going on, there was really a lot going on we had a lot of fun first off we had a few beautiful flights uh, but most importantly and that's the most important thing to me strangely enough is that First off, we got a new moderator. We got Endalia, who is now moderating our channel, which I truly, truly enjoy. I'm really, really, really happy that she's doing that. Hi, Flo. Good to see you. Good to see you, guys. There she is. There she is. Of course, she's there. Yes, my lovely mod. Hi, guys. My mod team, almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it was really great to, uh, that she wanted to step up and, st and, and help me out with modding, uh, modding the channel because during uh, the chat i noticed that uh, at times i couldn't keep up so it, it's really i'm really glad that that we uh, that we now have an extra moderator also on thursday which was really a shock to me we made affiliate which means that now i can basically monetize apparently my channel that's always nice uh so yeah that was a truly truly nice milestone after eight streams we made affiliate and that kind of blew me away. You guys are way too good for me. And although I'm having the time of my life, I truly have no clue why you're looking. So, <laughs> why you're watching. But still, I am glad for everyone that's here. I'm always having fun. So that's the most important thing. Uh, also, what's very nice is we have been talking. Because we are affiliate now, uh, we can do subs. Of course, uh, we already have a few subs, thanks to uh, uh, one uh, amongst other people, Flo. Uh, but um, because we have subs, we can now also do emotes, which is really cool. Uh, however, I've noticed uh, that uh, a lot of uh, streamers have emotes basically just for the subs. That's not what we are going to do. Yes, the subs are getting special emotes. So if you're a sub, and it depends on the sub tier. Where is my emote? They're, they're a work in progress, Flo. They're a work in progress. Um, because of that, um, uh, I wanted to give the subs uh, something special. But I don't want the, the followers to be left out. So the followers are getting... Uh, we are all getting a really nice bunch of emotes. Uh, they are in development. It might take a while, but they are they are being worked on, and um, the, the the subs will get special emotes. So if you if you're a sub, then you can get a few extras. So um, so yeah, that's really cool. Now also a very nice thing. The, the hits just keep on coming. Also a very nice thing is that. Um, because we made affiliate, we also get a few extra options. And one of those is I can now create polls. Which means I can create an online poll for, um, uh, for which uh, save point I want to do on the continents. First continent, of course, being Europe. Should I crash, we will have one or two save points. And uh, from there... Hi, Mouse! Good to see you! <laughs> Good to see you're here. Good to see you. Glad you could join us, Mouse. Hope you're... Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, so yeah, we are. We can do an uh, uh, an online poll. I want to do that uh, when there are a few people uh, in the chat, so people can can. Uh, and and I've never done this made poll, so we're going to see if this works. So yeah, and uh, uh, people can 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 vote on which city uh, should be my save point, and from there on we will be doing that for each continent. So the next continent will be. Um, uh, will be Africa uh, once we hit that it's easy to make a poll well that's good to hear that's good to hear yeah it, it, it looks kind of easy it looks kind of straightforward actually so yeah okay now what have we done so far so far now I have to switch to there there we are that's what we've done so far so far we've gone from the Netherlands onto Germany then into Denmark through Poland onto uh, the Czech Republic to Slovakia and then down into Hungary. Hungary right there. Uh, that's about uh, two and a half thousand, a little more than two and a half thousand nautical miles. We've flown for about 24 hours, a little bit more, I think. Um, so yeah, that's that's been a, quite a journey so far. So three weeks on, uh, we had, we've done two and a half thousand, uh, two and a half thousand nautical miles. 
and today we are going to fly from uh slovakia into oh no oh no, no 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 we are in hungary we're going to fly from hungary uh onto serbia to belgrade and we'll be doing that crossing balaton lake right here the biggest freshwater lake in central europe so we'll be flying over that then onto uh Jaget, then down straight down into belgrade where we will be circling around looking around in the area a bit and then land so that's the plan for today now i've looked up uh i'm getting really good at this i'm getting kind of organized <laughs> finally <laughs> i've looked up uh on uh, windy what the weather will be it's not that good actually it's pretty clouded we do have the uh the advantage of having the wind at our back so uh, that would uh speed up uh, the flight do have to make sure that we uh, get a bit of trim there because uh it it will kind of make the plane somewhat uh, somewhat unstable but that's fine uh also if we go to clouds and we go to low clouds you can you guys can see there is a bit of cloud overcasting so that's not <laughs> give us tornadoes if there's a tornado flow i can fly so that would be really a problem so no don't give us tornadoes don't give us tornadoes uh let's hope we don't hit uh, hit the caribbean during the tornado season which we probably will. Uh, then we also, of course, have rain and thunder. With a bit of luck, we will be skirting just the rain clouds a little bit. <laughs> totally <laughs> directly fly into a tornado. Yeah, that will basically tear my plane apart, Mouse, I think. <laughs> Maybe we'll give it a go. Who knows? Maybe we'll give it a go. So, yeah, <laughs> we can always give it a try. Um... So yeah, it's it it will be kind of rainy, but but with a bit of luck, we'll be skirting uh, skirting around that. So uh, so yeah, what will be the flight today? As I already said, today we are flying from Budapest, which is right there, Budapest Airport. We will be taking off on runway thirty one, heading north, then veer off to the left fly over Lake Balaton, which is right there, the largest freshwater lake in uh, in Central Europe. Hit uh, Kajetli. Kajetli? Kajetli? I have no idea. I'm, I'm screwing up names again already. Then down to Jaget, and then on to Serbia and Belgrade as our final destination today flight should be around two and a half to three hours so that should be good any landmark things well not much actually a few maybe perhaps in 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 belgrade there are a few nice nice uh and there is a really lovely castle right here but it's not marked as a landmark unfortunately there is that's it's a it's a, a coastal city i think so it's pretty uh, or a uh, uh, a lake city it's a, it's a, a holiday destination i think so it's pretty cool don't try to fly in a typhoon there was no wind at all really so okay okay that's kind of a pity actually you you would have think, thought that that the that the winds would pick up so greatly that that you couldn't fly through it but that's pretty cool that he did it actually that's pretty cool so yeah um okay well we are set, I think. Uh, I've got my aircraft selected. I've got my weight, my fuel full. I've got my tail number and call sign ready. So uh, I think we are good to go. Do I have the flight conditions right? Live traffic, live group. Yeah. Okay. So let's head in, shall we? Oh, by the way, guys, I'm trying something new. As you noticed, I'm no longer wearing um, wearing headphones and I've got my mic on. So um, if you hear something strange or anything or whatever, just give me a shout out because I have no idea uh, what's going on, if, that, if it sounds correct or if it doesn't sound correct. So fingers crossed everything goes, uh, goes fine and we don't have any reverb or something like that. So yeah, but it makes my life somewhat easier. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head in, shall we? Let's, let's fly. If there's something strange <laughs> in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Always good. Larger mug this time. More coffee. Yes. I'm always good for the coffee. 
So there. So yeah, guys, it's it's been uh, it's been a hectic week, and uh, we uh, th there was a steep learning curve, I must say. Uh, I mean, uh, there were so many things uh, come came up to us that yeah, it it's we really have to uh, had to uh, learn a few things, add a new few, a few new things here and there. So yeah, hey Sask, hello man, just saying hello <laughs> because oh you do you do you do, but yeah, have. Uh, Please sleep very, very, very nice. Have sweet dreams, Sask. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams. Thank you. A Shut up. <laughs> so there. Sorry, that was my uh, my my phone who was uh, doing strange things. <laughs> Have sweet dreams, Sask. Bye bye. Th and thank you for hopping on shortly thank you <laughs> oh by the way also um as you may have noticed i've started the uh, stream usually i start at 50 minutes before the stream this time i started it at five minutes before the stream and that will be the the norm from now on because it's easier for me to upload them to youtube in the future so yeah all right All right, guys, we are ready to go. Yes, indeed, it is cloudy, unfortunately. Okay, so first things first, let's uh, do a few things in the cockpit right here. As always, let's select the altitude. Let's set it to 3000 nautical miles. The All right, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, indeed, <laughs> indeed. And the meatball will be flying the airplane. Great, the big meatballs. Yes. Great the big meatballs. I love the meatballs. Okay. Uh, wind. Option. We'll do option three. And we will have the bearing right there. That's the first one. Then I think we are set. Set to. Oh. I think we're done. All right. Let's head out. Oh, by the way, also, uh, with the new patch, they created the sensitivity options. Uh, or they uh, created, they uh, reinstalled it. So uh, that was really nice. And we are off. So that's working good again. I'm guessing to the uh, great joy of a lot of people who are using uh, controllers at the moment. Uh, <laughs> you said it. Yes, I did. I did. I know. I know my place. I know my place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are uh, really are trying to to get the. Uh, really are trying to work it uh, and they are improving it. I mean last night there was uh, the big Japan update. Uh, which went basically went live yesterday and this morning. So, uh, yeah. It looked really good. Hey, Simp! <laughs> Hi, man! <laughs> Thanks for, uh, for subscribing, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, man. I truly enjoy it. Hi. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well. So, yeah, today we are flying from uh, Belgrade uh, to... Um, uh, no, from Budapest to Belgrade. And uh, it should be a somewhat uh, easy flight, actually. But we are flying over the largest freshwater lake in Central Europe, which should be really cool. Gotta collect them all. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. I choose you. <laughs> I choose my latest Pokemon. He's Sim. He's Zack. Yes. <laughs> No, actually, Flo is my, my main Pokemon. <laughs> actually.
actually, uh, the new music video for Pokemon, isn't that made by um, Walk of the Earth? I think. Okay, bye. <laughs> no, Flo, please come back. Don't go. I miss you already. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet friend. <laughs> No, I think uh, I think the new uh, Pokemon song was uh, was made by uh, by uh, Walk of the Earth, if I'm not mistaken. Really cool band, actually. Mostly known for the uh, 22 guys, one one guitar doing uh, Gotcha. There's a Gotcha song. Somebody I used to know, I think. Bump of Chicken. <laughs> What's a bump of chicken? What is that? It intrigues me. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Can I bump off your chicken? <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Ah, okay. That's what they actually call bump off chicken. That's an unfortunate name for a band. <laughs> oh. hmm. They're pretty well known, they are. <laughs> I've never heard of them. That's not, not that that's the benchmark for getting well known or not, I mean. But still, bump off chicken. Who knew? Well, guys. Don't get me started on Japanese man. baby metal. Please don't tell me that's actually babies making metal. Although that would be awesome. That would be really, really cool, actually. Alright. Uh, frequency change. Doing speed metal, really? <laughs> That's awesome. Why not? J pop and speed metal. That is an interesting combination, I think. That's an interesting combination. Oh. I will. I definitely will. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Japan is... Yeah, Japan is really, really... Well, it's weird to us as Westerners, so... It kind of depends what your definition of weird is, I think? It's not actually... You actually know it, Kadilu? Hey! It's the Don Don Man! Double D's here! Double D in the house! <laughs> Hi, man! Good to see you! <laughs> Good to see you. Everyone's talking about... Uh, that's your f area of expertise as well, uh, Don Don. I mean, uh, they're talking about uh, Japanese speed metal, uh, apparently. Never knew there was such a thing, but yeah. <laughs> Never knew there was such a thing. Cheers, guys. Coffee, caffeine. Muy importante. No idea. <laughs> Apparently, baby metal is a band. It's a thing. Baby metal, I know. <laughs> yes, I'm acknowledging your last transmission. Awesome. That's so funny. That is so funny. I really have to look it up now. I'm truly curious. I am truly curious. This is not my thing. Fulting really heavy rock. <laughs> that is so funny. I, th I somehow can't imagine those J-pop girls doing extremely heavy metal. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it myself. Mouse. So there. <laughs> but no, that's not. That's a video we still don't have. <laughs> Oh, 
maybe I should uh, make a make a uh, uh, an achievement out of that or something. Mouse. You have to sing the whole song. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. But it is funny though. It's for an for an uh, PC advert or something like that. The clip is becoming famous. Yes, it is. For those who do not know uh, what we are talking about um, uh, on uh, Don Don Pan Pan's channel, go check him out, by the way. Go check him out. Uh, and Dalia, could you give Don Don Pan Pan a shout out, please, if you want? And um, he has a mouse command because mouse is one of his moderators and it's a really funny, cha uh, funny thing. Yep, there they go. We finally got a shout out. Yes. <laughs> We are so professional here. <laughs> we are so professional. Oh yes, we are finally yeah, hashtag pro yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Finally, we are going for the big one. <laughs> Ooh, coffee, good plan. Improving each day. Well, well, that's open for debate, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Don doesn't know his own shout out command. <laughs> yeah, not throwing it under the bus. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god, poor <laughs> I feel for you man, I feel for you. <laughs> Who me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Now we are truly having low hanging clouds here because I'm trying to hit fifteen hundred feet, but Look at that, guys. That goes on for a Ooh. Ooh. Those are the views I like. Those are the views I really, really like. Those, those partly breaking clouds, sun shining through. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. That gets me going in this game. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, it does look a bit grim. <laughs> well, over there we have uh, uh, Mordor. And, uh, yes, uh, the Orcish army is coming from there, I think. Mm. Yeah, and the clouds are being pushed forward. <laughs> no. Oh, veering off course. There we go. Whee! <laughs> Reminds you of Scotland. Eh, home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home. Oh, by the way, uh, Don Don, have you? Uh, of course, you have flown already across uh, the new, uh, the new uh, uh, update uh, in Japan. Uh, any thoughts? I haven't flown across Japan yet, so I have no clue if it's improved or not. To be honest, but from what I've heard, I've heard very positive things. And. Did it meet um, did it meet your expectations? Hope it did. True. Oh, okay. So they did improve uh, improve it. Tokyo is much better. Oh, that's good to hear, because that was a real disappointment, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. That was a truly a disappointment. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. You don't need to uh, you don't need to mod it anymore uh, to your liking or. Are there still a few things uh, that would uh, that would uh, be open to improvement? <laughs> I truly hope it does set a good benchmark for uh, for the next uh, world patches that is coming out. Heavy on the frames, yeah, okay. That would not surprise me actually. And unfortunately, they still have not fixed the uh, issue with the uh, 2080 Ti. It's still very low in frames. It should be much higher than this. I'm uh, basically hitting about 30 to 40 frames max. 
which is really annoying. Just get the 3090, yeah, if only. <laughs> if only. No, no, no. I spent a lot of money last year on this puppy. I'm not spending that, that amount of money again. No, thank you. No, thank you. And also, I need to get a water cool one. So, yeah, yeah, it's only 1500. Yeah, like my 2080 Ti was a year ago. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Lunchtime. Okay, have a good lunch, man. <laughs> have a good lunch, Zach. I'm <laughs> glad you take care of... Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do, dear. I bet you do. <laughs> no, 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 no. And to be honest, I believe the 3080 is four times faster than my 2080 Ti is. And only if you can get your hands on it, it's 700, uh, about 700 euros, 700 to 800 euros. So, yeah. That will be a, truly a good improvement anyway. It isn't. I heard that it's four times faster than a 2080 Ti, to be honest. But... Could be... Uh, oh, the 3090. Okay, yeah, well, that, that would explain a lot. That would explain a lot. Well, even if it's just as fast as the 3080... It's the 2080, or a little bit faster... It will be an incredible improvement uh, for and value for money, actually. So, yeah. I mean, that thing is pretty dang awesome, those cards. I must admit. Those cards are pretty dang awesome. A little bit better. Okay. Okay. But still... Will be, yeah, exactly. Okay, so, okay. A 3070 will be near 2080. So, a 3080 will be basically on par with a 2080 Ti? Or is it faster? I don't know. Still both very, the 1080 is still a very good card. In my opinion, it's still a very, very good card. So, yeah. <laughs> Random numbers. <laughs> yes, we are. 1220, 475, 344. I have no clue, but it sounds so cool. Just put a few random letters in front of it. You're good. You're set. <laughs> I have 16 gigs and it helps. It really does help. Of VRAM. My card has 16 gigs of VRAM and it truly, truly does help. You can really bump up a lot of settings with this. But can it run Flight Simulator? Aha! Aha! I do, I do! I wonder if Nixter got his card. Yeah, eventually. He, he was going for a 3080, I believe. So, yeah. Let me get... Uh, yeah, that's that's what surprised me as well. That the 3080 has way less VRAM. That's really weird to me. Especially since most of the... Um, yeah. Yeah, over the 1080, definitely, yeah. Yeah, but still, it's, it is... I find it also very strange that... Um, that the 30 uh, the 3080 uh, has way less of VRAM on board. The I, I only think that the, the the and you go from 10 gigabytes on the 3080 to uh, 24 on the 3090. I think it's really weird. Ooh, then uh, then it's time for a slight upgrade, uh, and Dahlia. Time for a slide upgrade. Or, as long as it works for you, then it works for you. She's lying. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not getting between you two. I don't... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, can't, can't upgrade with your laptop? No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's... Uh, when you buy that, that's for good. Yep. Although I do think they are working on uh, laptops that are upgradable, I think. So. They are working on that. 
But I believe they are quite expensive. That looks so cool. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's what this game is once again all about. Lovely, lovely, lovely views. Man, we are flying here over Hungary. Ooh, getting a bit high. So, heading down. Diablo 4 specs. Are you going to play Diablo 4? If I may make a suggestion, uh, Path of Exile 2 is coming out as well. Truly interesting. I mean, if you're truly into games like that, the lore of, um, of Diablo, of course, is really, really cool, but... Path of Exile, I've played it for quite a while, actually. Really quite a while, actually. And although uh, part the, uh, uh, Path of Exile now is somewhat repetitive, I think, uh, it, it's still an incredibly cool game. It's really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's the Diablo franchise and the lore behind it. It's really, really cool. Well, I think, to be honest, I think I'm going to skip it, actually. I've played uh, Diablo 1, 2, and 3. A lot, of, a lot of 3 as well. Which I enjoyed. I enjoyed a lot. But the... Uh, the things you can do in... Um, in Path of Exile are so... Uh, you can do so much more in that game. Uh, with character customization, class customization, and stuff like that. It is huge. So, yeah. Somehow, I, I, I always play quickly through uh, the Diablo uh, um, the Diablo game. I just finished it and did a few seasons. But eventually, I always come back to Path of Exile. Always. So, yeah. You don't even know what you can do in Diablo 4 yet. Yeah, well, actually, they uh, announced uh, quite a lot, actually, of it uh, a few months back. And there, I think they believe there's a new developer update. So, yeah. Path of X-File is somewhat confusing uh, if you start out. Yeah, that's, that is true. It is because there is so much to do. You can There's so much options that uh, it can be quite confusing. True. But to me, it is still the better game. It, it is what actually what, in my opinion, what Diablo 3 should have been. That's what Diablo 3 should have been. Hydrate, guys. Hydrate. Very important. Unfortunately, it's... Uh, because I truly, truly, truly... Yeah, <laughs> hydrate. There we go. Hydrate again. It, uh, I, I, I really, really, I think uh, they've learned a lot from, I think Blizzard learned a lot from uh, GGG games, Grinding Gear, that created uh, Path of Exile. I think they, they had a long, hard look at Path of Exile and the community uh, that, was, uh, that was there, and I believe that they molded a lot of Diablo 4. Uh, from uh, from what they saw from Path of Exile, but then again, Path of Exile also released um, uh, the uh, made an announcement that they were making Path of Exile 2, which is really cool because if you got Path of Exile 1, Path of Exile 1 will be integrated into Path of Exile 2. So basically, you can play Path of Exile 1 and then move on to Path of Exile 2 with the Path of Exile 2 graphics. So that's really cool. So they upped one already on on Blizzard on that front, I think. But we're going to have, I think, that, and to be honest, I think there's room for both games. Let's make that quite clear. I think there's room for both games. I mean, there are a lot of games in that genre and Path of Exile and, and Diablo are 
are the are are the best ones. Well, yes and no, uh, Endalia. They have a lot of crossovers, and you also I also get the feeling that a lot of um, uh, hardcore Diablo players were somehow disappointed with the way Blizzard was going with Diablo. I'm not sure if Blizzard will eventually eventually win them back. To be honest with Diablo 4, I'm not sure. But there will always be an audience for Diablo. I think a lot of old Diablo players who, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the way, yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's that's. Uh, th there were a few. Um, companies that were going that way for instance uh, Bethesda was one of them and the fact that now it has been bought by Microsoft there are a lot of positive noises coming from it I mean Bethesda made a lot of big mistakes in the last few years yeah I mean it can only get better for them if they are supported now by Microsoft uh, so I hope Blizzard and Activision have learned from that uh, and don't make those same mistakes again in, in the future but if you see that a lot of the original uh, developers from Blizzard have left and now created their own uh, company again I'm not sure what what's if if, uh, if the path that Blizzard and, and um, Activision is on if that's the right path I mean they yeah they all will make more of the same mistakes I think so too too yeah yeah I I think you are quite right actually I think that uh, eventually uh, Blizzard will go the way of uh, the the way electronic arts went for a long time I think uh, I think that's their future And that is truly, truly a shame. That is truly a shame. Especially if you know, uh, if you see what, what incredibly cool games these guys have made, I mean, over the years. You can buy a DLC and you can buy a DLC. And you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that. I mean, the the day at the long the launch day of the game, the first thing, <laughs> and you can buy a DLC, and you get a DLC, and you can buy a DLC. <laughs> I'll pay for a unicorn mounted Diablo Four. But uh, yeah, it's um, I'm not I'm I I'm not sure that. Diablo or uh, that uh, Blizzard is on the right. I'm, I'm pretty sure Blizzard is not on the right track. It isn't, and neither is Activision. Activision's saving grace is mainly Call of Duty, to be honest. Let's face it, which is really good at the moment. Call of Duty is still really, really cool. I mean, they they hit uh, hit the bullseye with uh, with Warzone, but. Uh, I get the feeling that things like... Uh, oh, sorry, I did not start my flight. I forgot that. It should be working now. It should be working. Rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, God, I'm such a noob. I'm still such a noob. By the way, guys, in the distance, Lake Balaton. Which is the largest freshwater lake, as I said, in Central Europe. Yep. Still not working. Now give it a, give it a second. No, but wait a second. Wait a second. There's something strange going on here. That at least that's working now. Ha ha. Hey, Melvius, the gray sheep, uh, the mad pilot. That's the mad pilot, my young sir. <laughs> Never happened, no. <laughs> it's your, uh, it's our high quality standards of professionalism, professionalism that makes these channels so brilliant. 
<laughs> so there's that. God. If I have a chance to screw it up, you know I will. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a fight to the death. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Let's throw them in an octagonal ring and see who comes out standing. Tan, tan, tan. <laughs> Celebrity death match. <laughs> yeah. Total, totally unimportant. Important. Nobody knows these people. Death match tonight. <laughs> I'll take a sword. <laughs> well, apparently you brought a, a sword to a machine gun fight. Sorry. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> Ooh, should have taken Shiro. Ooh, yes, yes, that may... You might have won. Yeah. You may have won. <laughs> Good lord. Sick the dogs on them. But first, I need to have to buy my new car. Oh, really? Do I? Is that a promise, dear? <laughs> I'm getting a new car. I'm getting a new car. I'm getting a new... No, I'm not. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not. No. No. You know, the fact that I'm basically dreading... Uh, to have to install a new card in my in my PC. Good lord. Ugh. I have fixed tubing in my car in my in my PC. Fixed. Uh, uh, I have uh, um, uh, completely water cooled my PC. So my god, no thank you. Time for a completely new PC. Yeah, ten <laughs> and a new uh, i10 uh, uh, core uh, processor. Yay! Hydrate Melvius, thank you. Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, look at that. That's pretty dang cool. Oh, by the way, I heard uh, that water reflections apparently don't work that well anymore. Might be an issue. Not sure, though. But I can't test it at the moment, unfortunately. Ooh. Hiccups. Hiccups, again. Vodka orange juice. No. No, uh, taxi. So not for you. <laughs> no, simply taxi. It's a tropical fruit flavor drink. Vodka <laughs> orange juice and Irish coffee. Oh, by the time I uh, I'm uh, ten minutes into my flight, I'm drunk as a skunk. Hey, people, I shook at you. <laughs> Maybe not such a good idea. Yeah. Maybe not such a good idea. Funny though. <laughs> and as I said, when I'm drunk, I'm even more annoying. <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs> well, I think... I think we still have... Ooh, look at that. That looks... Actually looks a little bit better. The water does look somewhat better, guys. They uh, improved water graphics, but... Yeah. Still leaning over, though. You're not family-friendly anymore. Since when? I'm family friendly. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. And the jokes are somewhat tongue in cheek. I think there is a limit. <laughs> Permission to say. <laughs> no, it's O oh, cock. And um, yeah. So there. And if you can ban him in Dahlia, that will be great. Thank you. Just permanently throw him out. 
just make him go away. <laughs> I refuse! No! No, 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 no! It's a mutiny! <laughs> Hoist the Jolly Roger! <laughs> exactly, Flo! It's mutiny! Sheer mutiny! Objection, Your Honor! Overruled! <laughs> Ah, that truly does look cool. That looks cool. Did I just saw wind blowing? Or was that just me? Huh. That was interesting. I thought I thought I saw a gust of wind moving over the lake, but I'm not sure actually. Oh god, I'm seeing things again, aren't I? Wait a minute. Wait, just checking. Checking for, you know. Nope. No alcohol either. Nope, I'm good. Mouse. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> or mouse. Is that a hint? Is that a hint? <laughs> You know, I love views like this. I truly do love views like this. That's so cool to me. The way they got the physics of that working, it was... There we go. Why am I hating on male chickens? <laughs> Tune into, oh, I have to tune into Budapest. Contact Budapest approach. The there we go. Sierra, call, <laughs> Every time I see it. Mouse. Well, we maybe we can uh, do a uh, redeem points uh, that uh, when uh, when you uh, redeem the points, I'll scream mouse. That's an option. <laughs> oh, I also have to join your Discord, and I have to make a Discord myself. Oh, another another point on the list, the list, <laughs> and it just keeps on growing. Have <laughs> all my points. There you go. Take my points! Take them! <laughs> we already have a Discord. Yeah, we do. We do, do we? Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> That's an option. That's somewhat of an option, indeed. <laughs> but I also claimed Shoney Gaming already, so I'm using that for personal purposes at the moment. May I throw a lot of people under the bus? <laughs> is my... By the way, is my... my uh, where am I? Where am I? Alright, that's kind of weird. Okay, so yeah. That's going well. That's, that's still going. And... Having to see if... Yeah, that's working as well, apparently. Not sure, though. Alright. Sorry, guys, had to look up a few things if, uh, if, if everything was still working, but apparently it is, so... Thought it wasn't, but it was. So... Right? Yeah, but... <laughs> That might be an option, actually, uh, and Dahlia. That might be an option if you, if you guys don't mind. If you guys don't mind. So yeah. <laughs> twenty-seven years delayed. <laughs> Only twenty-seven. Well, yeah. Make. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's my plane doing? 
What's my plane doing? What's going on? This is interesting. The wind is picking up, I think. I think. <laughs> what are we winning? <laughs> Nothing yet. Going down! Mayday! Mayday! Danger, Family Robinson! Danger! No, it's really being buffeted by... Do we have... Let's see what the wind is. 25 knots! Holy demoly! So that explains it. Ladies and gentlemen, we might experience a little bit of turbulence. Please put your seats in an upright position. <laughs> we're winning a plane crash. No! No, we're not. We are not. No. Yeah, I heard, uh, Dondon. Uh, I heard... Apparently it looks really cool now, by the way, the uh, the new uh, Thunderstorm, uh, and it also sounds really awesome, to be honest. It really does sound honest, so yeah. 19, 19 days? Flo? And have I been on for 19 days already? Has it been 19 days? Good lord. Who knew? Feels like I've been here forever. Yeah, Melvius flew through a thunderstorm. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Also, that looked really damn cool when the lightning uh, burst came. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Everyone's been following me. <laughs> no, no. Don't follow it, spam. Don't follow it, spam. <laughs> Don't spam, 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 lovely spam! <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yeah, apparently day one, no, I think day two actually, that's when you raided me. I think the second day you raided me. The first day, most people missed my flight from, uh, uh, from the Netherlands into Germany. Uh, the second day, uh, most people found me actually. God knows why, but... <laughs> and you're all still here! <laughs> Thank you! Muchas gracias, señores y señoras. Oh, start over. No! <laughs> no! I will not start. I'm <laughs> gonna have to do that one again. Actually... I've got it. I've got it. Uh, uh, um, I've recorded it and I will be uploading it to YouTube, actually. But I do have it. The first flight. The, the maiden flight, as I like to call it. <laughs> the maiden flight. Not the iron maiden flight, the maiden flight. I have no idea how many languages. Muchas gracias. Uh, merci beaucoup. Vielen Dank. Um, Dank u wel. Dutch. <laughs> Basically keep forgetting how to say it in my own language. <laughs> I remain in here. Well, I have the livery, but... To be honest, that's mainly a death comes thing from, uh, from the Bimint uh, channel. So, yeah. <laughs> This does look cool, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Even cloudy, even overcast, this game looks amazing. Look at it. Take it all in. Soak it all up. Scrape it off your plate with a piece of bread. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. But I'm pretty sure they did improve the water uh, a little bit. It looks more choppy, actually. <laughs> now, where's the beautiful emote? No, no, no. Pretty, pretty, pretty emote. Yeah. Good luck, Malvius. Good luck, man. Good luck. Let us know how it turns out, man. 
I'll be uh, keeping my fingers crossed for you. Give uh, give Melfia some love, guys. Give him some love. Give him some love. Good, Best of vibes, man. Good vibes to you. Good vibes. We're all sending good vibes. Unfortunately, the first one. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much for doing so, uh, Indalia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. It's... Uh... Oh, I have to contact Budapest. Again. 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 Okay, so now we are headed to, and I have to get my notes, how to pronounce that, Castelli, Castelli, yeah, I think it's Castelli, 20,000 people live there, but it's mainly in an uh, important, uh, important cultural and educational hub, and a, and a, a holiday destination in Hungary, so yeah. Once again, we are being buffeted by uh, by wind. Did they improve also prove the uh, the wind dynamics or anything? Does anyone know that in, in in chat? I have no idea, but it feels like they did. It feels like they actually improved on the on the wind dynamics. Oh, that, well, that yeah, that would be an option. <laughs> Becoming a worse pilot, of course. <laughs> I'm slowly degrading from learner to absolute crap. <laughs> and here I was thinking I was improving. My landing slowly became butter smooth, but the ride itself was utterly, utterly horrid. People came out puking in the back, <laughs> throwing up their lunches left and right. Hydrate, guys. Remember to hydrate. Uh. All right, now, um, uh, I keep forgetting that name. Gestelli. 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 Gestelli should be right there in the corner of that bay across the uh, the hill right there so that's what we're aiming for and then we are heading in a somewhat uh we are now heading west then we are heading in a somewhat southern direction towards uh Shaget, which is the last city in uh, hungary that we will be uh, flying over and then down south into serbia onto um onto belgrade yeah and tomorrow we will be flying from Belgrade, Serbia, I think, into Romania, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll be keeping to the to the central and eastern part of Europe, heading back up towards uh, the Baltic states, onto uh, Scandinavia, then uh, and then into Western Europe. So uh, yeah. Then we will be uh, getting into a more uh, familiar territory, for me at least. So, this is truly unfamiliar territory, and I'm really enjoying unfamiliar territory, to be honest. It is so, so cool to be flying over areas, knowing that it actually looks like this. This is what it is. It is so dang pretty. Now, um, uh, Castelli... Um, has a castle apparently in it, a sort of um, a 16th, 17th century um, uh, French type castle like a mansion and uh, I, I think if we can see if we can find that and then fly on but we're still pretty dang good on fuel actually right down there so that should be good Speed is uh, speed is good. Apparently, the wind is dying down a little bit. 
Really cool that the wind is picking up and uh, and throwing the plane around uh, a little bit more, especially when you uh, uh, when you uh, when you fly across uh, across hills and, uh, and stuff. You you really notice that that the the weather and the uh, the wind dynamics change a lot. That's so cool. I really really think that adds a large layer of realism to this game simulation. Simulation. Let's uh, just say simulation. But it should be down there somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Still not working, is it? No. No clue why. I'll uh, check out, uh, check it out to see what's going on there. I have no clue why it's not working, uh, uh, Flo. I don't know. Because you can see it right here. You can see the map. That's working. This is working as well. Oops, sorry. This is working. So yeah, I have no clue why it's not working. Because it, it, the ETE is also here. So it's one hour, 22 minutes left. But it's just not responding. The bot is not responding somehow. And I don't think we turned it off. By the way, this is the castle I'm talking about. That's the castle. That's uh, Festastic's Palace. It's a Baroque palace. So let's uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's it's right there. If you want to know the ETA, ETA, the heading, everything, it's it's all right here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, me too. But oh, it's down there actually. This is it. This is it. This is the castle. With the castle grounds, you can see it right there. Yeah. But it more, once again, looks like a office block. <laughs> Howl's moving castle, perchance? <laughs> now, it looks like an office block as well. You can see the gardens and everything. But unfortunately, yeah. But this is, a, a, and apparently, it's in Hungary, it's a well-known uh, holiday destination. Well, I can see why. I can see why. Especially in summers, right down at the lake. Howl, yeah. Right down here. Swimming in the lovely lake. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I can picture that. So, yeah. Let's head over to... Alright, still being buffeted by the, uh, by the winds, but that's good, that's good. That's fine. I'm not sure though. Oh, I'm being directed towards the airport, I think. I think I'm being directed towards the airport. But we are getting very low, which means the elevation uh, is increasing. Yes, we are being directed towards the airport. Exactly. That. Well, that's good. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. By the way, guys, the audio is still very good. No resonance. No, no nothing. I hope it is because that means that I can, from now on, play without my headset, which is highly enjoyable, I must say. Well, that looks like an airfield, but I'm pretty... N I'm not sure if we could land there if we wanted to. Yeah. No more headset. Indeed for the win. Hello, Moutje. Hello. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Exactly, my dear. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, we could have, we could have landed there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that big, but it's long enough. Yeah. I'll take it. All right. Now. Let's. Head on. To our. Second leg. Because this was the first leg. We have a second leg from. Uh, Castelli to Jaget. 
which we are now turning towards. I have the feeling that <coughs> my GPS still isn't working correctly, which is somewhat annoying. And we are getting a bit too much height, but I'll get, it will work out, I think. Ah, uh, there we go. Now it is apparently changing. Yes, there it is. It just switched. You just could see my GPS here switching towards the next uh, waypoint. And we are quite spot on, actually. That's not bad at all. No. Let's head down a little bit. Not too much. Not too much, but... Yeah, the water definitely changes. Much more choppy, and you can now see also the uh, foam on the uh, on the waves. If you look carefully, you can see all those white little... Yeah. They definitely change that, which is good. I like that. I like that a lot. Adds a lot more realism to it. Now, let's just hope that the reflections also still work. Would be a shame if it didn't. But it would not surprise me if it did. Still work. So yeah. I still think it's good. Still cloudy and overcast, unfortunately, as I was afraid it would be. But then again, this is what uh, the weather will be like for a long while, I think. Uh, especially now that uh, autumn and uh, winter is coming in, uh, in Europe. And... Uh, Keeping in mind that I will be hitting uh, uh, Scandinavia, yeah, winter indeed is coming, winter is coming. Uh, that uh, I will be hitting Scandinavia in about a month's time, I think in about a month. We will be heading up to Scandinavia, so that will be uh, October, November. Uh, which should be interesting, I'm not sure if the game automatically changes if you have... Um, snow in the area so that would be pretty cool if that happens that would be pretty cool ah. that's where we came from flew all the way down the coast over a uh, Castelli and then down on to Zeget, where we are now going. Zeget, Zeget, you know. I think it's Zeget. Yeah. I think it's Zeget. So there, uh, yeah, it's, it's. I think uh, I, I'm really looking forward to see if, if the weather automatically changes and stuff like that. That's, fingers crossed. I'm not, I'm not sure if that will happen, but yeah. Will be really cool flying in, uh, Officially, I cannot fly in, in, in um, snowstorms and stuff like that. Officially, but I am going to. Of course I'm going to. The only thing is if it becomes too stormy. Uh, we have things like, uh, like, uh, like uh, hurricanes and stuff like that. Or when the wind... Uh, is not uh, is uh, when I have a headwind uh, when I when I'm going to cross the oceans that might be a problem too because those are long flights and I will need every every bit of extra wind I can get at my back Hong back <laughs> yeah you heard that didn't you <laughs> yeah unfortunately they are erecting a, a new uh, New uh, new building uh, ac straight across from my uh, from my house. So yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm truly hoping that uh, that there will be some uh, some weather changes, uh, especially when uh, when it's snowing or stuff like that. That will be really cool. That will be really cool.
I'm really looking forward if that uh, if that should happen. And I'm also wondering what it will do to the dy dynamics of the plane, actually. I truly am. I have flown, uh, for instance, uh, t I tried to fly a few test flights uh, in uh, in the Himalayas with a 172 from uh, Nepal to Bhutan. That didn't go so well. <laughs> that didn't go so well, unfortunately. Above the uh, 10 to 12,000 feet line, my plane froze over and that was about it. And that was all she wrote. So yeah, I am still trying to find a way uh, into uh, into Bhutan and uh, into uh, into Nepal. But I am going to fly the Himalayas. I really, really want to see. Actually, I want to fly. I want to. I want to see Mount Everest in the distance. Everyone wants that. Yeah. So yeah. But that did cause a few issues here and there. That was interesting to say the least, yeah. Truly interesting to fly uh, in those areas with a plane like this. And that also of course holds true when I will be flying uh, through, Alas uh, through Alaska, through, uh, uh, through Canada. Uh, <laughs> I will be planning a flight from Argentina, or actually Chile onto Antarctica, so yeah. Y yeah, uh, but I'd like to do it in a controlled way, uh, Flo. I'd like to do it in a controlled way, <laughs> if, if that's possible, yeah. Instead of just face down into a, into a, co a controlled crash. <laughs> Thanks for your confidence, man. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. No, no, my young Padawan, we shall be flying. Aha! No. To be honest, I think it will be possible, but uh, those flights, I may have to turn off icing. So I may have to turn on. I, I maybe I'll leave on the effects, but not the. Uh, yeah, well, a little bit, yeah. A little bit, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm afraid it's the only way to do it. Otherwise, I really have to skip large parts of the world, which I really don't. I mean, how cool is it that you can fly from Chile to, to, to Antarctica? That's pretty cool, let's face it. So yeah, exactly, we'll tackle that when we get there. And the first, um, well, <laughs> a bit longer than that. No, the... Um, Nepal is, I, th yeah, I think, yeah, I think in years actually, yeah, I think uh, Nepal will be in one and a half years time, and uh, the flight from Argentina or Chile to Antarctica is, I think, in two and a half years time. So those are quite a long way off, quite a long way off, actually, yeah. They are quite a long way off. So yeah. What's the plan for the coming month? Will it be... Where we will be in about a month? Uh, in a month's time, I'm hoping that we will be reaching uh, the Baltic states and slowly heading up into Scandinavia. Yeah. Uh, we are now heading towards, let me have a look, let me have a look, have, let me have a look. Uh, we are now heading towards uh, countries like uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria is next. Uh, then we will be on to Romania, uh, Moldova, Ukraine, Belarus, and then we will be heading towards Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. So I've planned it up to there. Um, I've planned it in detail up to there. Uh, then the next legs will be le next leg will be onto Finland and uh, Sweden and Norway. 
So uh, yeah, I think we will be. Uh, it will be a month before we will be flying from flying towards uh, towards uh, Finland. Actually, in a month's time. So that's quite a while, actually. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, I can do it in uh, in in a few hours. Uh, just uh, get into an Airbus and you're done. Or you can do a, you can do a challenge like this, and uh, and and yeah, you have to simply accept that. That's the speed it's ever going to be. That's as fast as it's ever going to get. 122 knots, and if you're lucky. So yeah. If you're in free fall, 130, 140, maybe 150, but that, that's about it. So that's uh, that's the consequence of flying it in a in a Cessna. Yeah. But the fact that people are actually doing this, I mean, actually doing this. Apparently, there's a YouTube channel from uh, from a. Uh, uh, um, a wife and a husband who are flying actually in a 127 around the world. Is it raining? No, it's not raining. Apparently. I thought it was raining. But it's not. Yep. So yeah, it's... it's, And it's slowly but steadily starting to dawn, to, to dawn on me how... Um, how long this flight is going to be and I mean I of course I knew how long it was going to be I mean I, I planned this flight for at least three and a half years well we've done one percent actually of the flight we've done one percent by now so we're getting there we are getting there one down <laughs> One down. <laughs> and we already did seven countries. We are now going up, I think, up to the eighth. I mean, let's see. Netherlands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. 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 And I think I'm flying to 150 countries. I think it's one something like one, 150 countries or something like that. So, yeah. I mean, it is, it is indeed, it is a, a massive undertaking. Of course it is. But that's just this crazy harebrain, harebrain scheme I wanted to do. I mean, as far as I know, I'm the only one doing it. Like this. I mean, a lot of people are flying around the world. Dondon Pompon is flying uh, uh, also uh, around the world now. And yeah, but, but most people are using either jets or, or, or much, much faster planes than this. But I think this just makes it more more interesting and more, more challenging. Oh, that was cool. Slowly heading into uh, a little bit of uh, choppy weather right here. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's not bad, but it's not great. But it's it's doable. It's doable. But yeah, it's uh, th that's the reason why I uh, why I planned this flight uh, in June. I started planning it, and uh, before I knew it, I was like, oh, okay, so you can reach everything around the world. Well, if you can reach it, you have to do it. You know, you have to do it. And here we are. Here we are, already did, did uh, 2600 nautical miles, not counting today. So yeah, the, the, this is the 10th flight and there are a lot of legs coming. There are a lot of legs coming. And of course you will have countryside like this, you'll have... It, that's the beauty of it. I mean, I'm really looking forward to things like, like the Caribbean, for instance, or uh, French Polynesia. I mean, yes, I am flying over a large part of French Polynesia, which will be challenging in itself because, well, let's face it, there are really, really, really small airfields there at which you have to land. But also things like... like like Australia or, or large tracts of Asia, Asia, which look really cool. 
I mean, I'm flying over basically every island in Indonesia. I'm flying over the complete length uh, of, uh, of Vietnam, Korea, Thailand. And what is this game going to look like by the time we get there? I mean, now they're already within... Uh, they released this 18th of August, so it's now uh, the 30th of September. It's out for a month and a half, and they already released an incredible update, so yeah. Yeah, exactly, things like that, you know, the, 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 the way everything changes from, from, from uh, mainly cultivated countryside like this towards uh, deserts in in Africa and and uh, the, the 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 diversity of bio uh, of the uh, biodomes of the biomes in in uh, biodomes <laughs> the biomes in uh, in Africa you know you go from 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 um, uh, incredible deserts to to, uh, to to jungles to to savanna to everything and I mean it does really 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 I'm I'm really looking forward to those things and also those long flights. To see if it's possible to fly from from Madagascar towards the Seychelles, or to fly from from uh, Australia to to New Zealand. I mean, I have no, I I calculated that I would be able to reach it, but to be honest, it will be really short. It will be it will be really interesting to see if I I can get to those places. Hydrate, right, guys. Very important. Yeah, that, that will be the most important thing to me. Can I actually reach it? I mean, I planned it. In theory, I should be able to reach it. But can I actually reach it? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, look at that. I think that's... It's like those little things, you know? When you see the sky, the, the clouds breaking... Hey, Geki, good to see you. Hello, glad you could join us. Glad you could join us on our 10th flight. Yes, glad you could join us. We are now flying from um, from Hungary towards uh, Serbia. We are on our way to Budapest, so yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I love things like this. I love it like this. This is so, so incredibly cool. This is so incredibly cool. I mean, views like this. And they are just handed to you. Here you go, have fun. <laughs> Man. I mean, how can you not love a game like this? Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna get my <laughs> mental look too. <laughs> All right. Well, well, maybe next time, Geki. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But Hitman 2 is also a very good game. A very good game. You will be uh, enjoying that for a long while. But it's incredible. It is incredible to me that they, and the fact that they now released uh, the uh, the Japan update, uh, and people are people are really enthusiastic about it. Uh, it 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 um, it looks very good for the future. It looks very good for the future. I mean, I wonder what update will be, what world update will be next. But yeah. Let's see, right, I'll have my eyes on anything else. Oh, okay. <laughs> but so does the video get you? True, true, true. Although there are a few very good games still in the pipeline. I mean, let's face it. Cyberpunk 20... What is it? 2025? 20 something? I don't know. There are, uh, there are still a very, very few very good games in the pipeline coming out 
And also, in Exile, uh, I think in Exile announced two new RPGs. I believe. After the uh, success of Wasteland 3, they uh, they announced that they also had uh, two, new, uh, two new games uh, in the making. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, to each his own. To each his own, I say. <laughs> to each his own. There's no, uh, there's no acquiring for taste. <laughs> so yeah. And there are many games which I don't gravitate towards either. I don't like uh, sports games, for instance. It's just not my thing. Just not my thing. So you will never see me play a baseball game or a uh, American football game or things like that. That's not just that's, that's just not my thing. And in the past, I really did like games like uh, um, management games, like Zoo Tycoon and stuff like that. But the new Planet Zoo is just too finicky for me. It's uh, I can't seem to get into it. I also got Planet Coaster. Mm, yeah. I mean, Cadillo's really into th into stuff like that, but no, not me, not me, not anymore. I do like um, things like um, City Skyline, for instance. That's really cool. Like those as well. Yeah, sure. I mean, you have to take each game by its merits, you know? And it kind of depends on what you expect from a game, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I think the expectations for Cyberpunk are excessively high. But it just might turn out to be a third. Who knows? I don't know. Could be. But for some people, it will always be brilliant. I'm pretty dang sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was... I think I'm agreeing with you there, Don Don. Yeah, they should have done it in... No, Flight Simulator isn't going to, going to disappear in a long, long while. It's going to be here at least for 10 years. So, Asobo uh, basically st stated that they would be supporting it for at least 10 years. And if you look at games like uh, the older Flight Simulator games, who have been around for, for instance, for at least 15 years, you know, it's going to be here for quite a while. It's going to be here for quite a while. But yeah, I, I somewhat agree with you uh, on the, uh, the the way they released the chapters. Uh, they just should have released the games and not released a chapter with as, as DLC or something like that. It, it's, yeah. It's like you're getting a half-finished game. It will take at least 10 years to finish this flight. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope I'll do it in a, in, 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 in a bit quicker. But as of now, I'm... The way I've planned it now is like three and a half years. But I only plan it in detail up to, uh, up, to, uh, um, up to the Baltic States. So even when I go into more detail, it just keeps adding and adding and adding and adding and adding. So yeah. But I believe there are a few people uh, who are now also inspired by me uh, and are trying to do this flight as well, uh, or something similar as I'm doing. Uh, I hope they don't get disappointed because it is truly, truly a cool way to, uh, to explore the world. It really is. It really is. I mean, we do live on a very, very beautiful planet, I, am, I must admit. And this is a great way of seeing it. Seeing it in all its glory and all its beauty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <coughs> Don Don, yeah.
Let's see. Pest Center, Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf, 1,800 feet. Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf, Budapest Center, continue as planned. You know, as long as you're enjoying the game and you're, uh, you, uh, you feel you got your money's worth, that's, that's, that's all that matters, actually. And what anyone else says, that's their problem. If you like a game, you like a game. That's, that's... Don't, don't yuck somebody's yum, you know? Don't yuck somebody's yum. I mean... There are games, as I said, which I really don't... Which I don't like. But that's just me. It's not like they're bad games, it's just that I don't like them. Of course, there are a few <laughs> incredibly bad games, but... Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying there aren't any bad games out there. There are. But, uh, but mostly it all comes down to taste and what you, what your, what's, what's your preference, you know? Well, maybe, but that's... It can be said for a lot of games. It's not just Hitman 2016 that has that problem. I mean, e people are even complaining that, that uh, Microsoft and Asobo shouldn't have released Flight Simulator because of certain bugs, yeah. And it's annoying when, uh, when a patch introduces more bugs. For instance, the latest, the last patch, the, the, the second to last patch actually then, uh, not the, the, the patch that was released yesterday, but the, last pa the, the patch before that broke a lot of features in, uh, in the Boeing, for instance, in the, or in the Airbus. It broke a lot, a lot of features, and that annoyed a lot of people. Of course, I can understand that, but yeah, that's just the way sometimes things go. By the way, uh, Don Don, have you flown uh, the uh, Airbus again? In the new patch? And did they solve a lot of the issues, or...? Well, sometimes they are, <laughs> exactly. I, I believe there is now a, a massive giant uh, hole in uh, somewhere in uh, in Brazil, where a airport used to be. It's uh, 2,000 uh, to 3,000 feet below, uh, below the surface. So yeah, <laughs> so there's that. Or the uh, monolith in, um, in, I think Barcelona there was one, and there was one in Melbourne as well. So <laughs> Exactly, exactly those things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one, uh, Geki. Exactly, that's the one. Yeah, the uh, giant monolith in uh, in Melbourne. Yeah, and it, there was also one in Sydney. Ah, okay, not in the patch. Because I am trying to learn the uh, the A320 as well, but unfortunately, somehow I was doing a few evenings ago. I think it was Sunday evening. I think I did a uh, a co-op flight with uh, a multiplayer flight with uh, with Melvius Gaming and uh, an actual shared cockpit flight. Uh, we uh, had installed software for that, which is somewhat buggy, but it does work. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, the the plane, uh, the the autopilot just just didn't want to pick up the uh, the ILS uh, for the landing on Heathrow, and apparently it wasn't working on a lot of uh, a lot of airports. So ILS landing was completely out of the question, which was really annoying because I was learning how to fly that thing, and I crashed three times eventually. So that was really really uh, annoying. And as long as that's not working, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to start training on an Airbus yet. Although it is truly a really, really cool airplane to fly. And it's completely different way of flying uh, propeller airplanes like this. It's really, really different. Yeah, no, it's not only that, Geki. It's, uh, for instance, uh, the, 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 the biggest problem with, uh, with that is mainly not so much um, the fact that it's rendered incorrectly by the game because it's picked up... Uh, what, what it's using is the, uh, the Bing maps and the Bing maps aren't translated perfectly because some uh, Bing maps have clouds over them, cloud cover and stuff like that. 
So it's basically trying to translate clouds and, and, and blurred out uh, patches of ground, which is really annoying. But that's what they are trying to correct now. I think, to be honest, I think um, the Japan patch that we got yesterday was more more of a test than anything else to see if uh, if it would improve um, improve the uh, the resolution of the game and make uh, make certain features look better. So yeah. Okay, well, I'll have a look then and see if I can still get it to work uh, on the A320. Yeah, exactly, uh, Dolon. Yeah, exactly. No, there are just milky patches of land. Have you tried to match? Yes, I'm going for stylish grey. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's not like milky patches of land or anything. It just fills in. Uh, it just fills in, in in forests or anything like that, but it's not it's not like you just have a blur or something like that. The, the AI then tries to correct that. <laughs> oh yes, I'm going for the uh, sophisticated George Clooney look. Thank you. Yes, with the strong jawline right there. So uh, yeah. Slightly a tad, a tad, a tad of John Travolta poured in there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly the salt and pepper look. Ah, oh shit! Oh no, that's completely different. Sorry. <laughs> that's completely different. That's off the beaten track. Hydrate, guys. Make sure to hydrate. Make sure to get your drinks. No, that's just showing my age. Men age like fine wine, you know. Men age like fine wine. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to never hear the end of that one. <laughs> and even not so fine wine. <laughs> yeah. And some age like vinegar. <laughs> Sometimes even milk. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. I know where you're going with that, but no. Men age like fine wine. Women age like milk. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a joke, guys. That's just a joke. That's just a joke. Yeah, exactly. That that have been removed, and that's, uh, um, but that's uh, usually done by governments uh, who ordered it. I uh, age differently. <laughs> um, but if you compare the uh, the the Google Maps, for instance, to uh, with Bing Maps, you will see that. Uh, uh, that there is a lot of uh, that there are a lot of uh, difference uh, differences between them, unfortunately. Yeah. Whereas Google Maps, for instance, has much higher resolution. It's uh, uh, um, um, the 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 maps are much much more detailed. So yeah. <laughs> the kind of depends on the vinegar. Is it, if it's balsamic, <laughs> maybe yes. Who knows. If it's balsamic vinegar, maybe yes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows. A nice splotch of balsamic vinegar. Nothing bad with that. Nothing bad with that. Mm -mm. <laughs> know your foodstuffs. Very important. Muy importante. Si. That's very important. Yeah, it is. Let's see, where are we now? Are we, we are, I think we are somewhere halfway. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. All right. What's our ETA? About an, about an hour still to fly. So that's good. 
so that's good. Fake vinegary fish and chip shops. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm not sure, first off, if that's real vinegar, <laughs> to be honest. And if it is, it has been made of the cheapest of wines, which is not... If There's one golden rule. If you cannot drink with wine, don't cook with it either. Just pour it down the drain. Yeah. There's no such thing as cooking wine. There just isn't. Trust me on this. So and if they made vinegar out of that, yeah, that's that's not going to be, going to be good. That's not going to be good. But a nice bit of, bit of fish and chips. Well, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That is a good plate of eating. To be honest. Still a lot of wind. I have to correct almost constantly. I have no idea. There are a lot of people on YouTube who uh, who think they can cook actually. As well as those um, weird kind of Instagram guys who also cook. Never heard of him, sorry. No, never heard of him. But he puts white wine on everything, apparently. Yes. <laughs> Me being one of them, Flo, you are quite right. I uh, think I can... I believe I can fly. So, yes. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? You have to believe in yourself. Oh, yeah. You have to believe. More copyright claims. Not if it's below four seconds. Four seconds. <laughs> it's the four second rule. <laughs> so I can do sound bites. Uh, you could. There's nothing wrong with putting wine in your cheese sauce, actually. Just if you, just as long as you cook off the uh, the XFL, excess alcohol. Yeah. Hey, Swordfish! Good to see you, man! Good to see you! Hello! Hello! Uh, we are today flying from Budapest onto... Um, God, I'm lost again. Where am I flying to? Come on. I am flying to Belgrade. Yeah, Belgrade, the uh, capital of Serbia. So we are flying from Hungary all the way to Serbia today. Yeah. So that's our 10th flight. Uh, as I uh, stated um, uh, when I started uh, the stream, by the way, uh, things I'm really happy about. And Dahlia made, uh, made, uh, wanted to do uh, the moderation, so uh, she's now our moderator with the Banhammer, which I'm really happy about. And uh, we also, on Thursday, made affiliate. So yeah, that's really amazing. So that gave us a lot more, more options. A lot more options. By the way, guys, um, and if you're looking in Dahlia, and if you want to help out, please do. Um, I would like uh, some uh, suggestions for European uh, cities uh, that uh, can be used as a uh, safe point from which I can fly if should I crash in Europe. So anyone coming up with suggestions, please do so. Uh, for instance, uh, I got one myself, Lady Stop, where I started from, my starting point. That, I think, is very appropriate one. Uh, but also things like, for instance, Paris could be one, London, Madrid, you know, Rome. Oh, if you would, thank you, uh, thank you, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, please come uh, with those uh, suggestions, guys. I am looking for uh, a safe point. Uh, and anyone can suggest it. Uh, if uh, Subs can suggest it, but also followers. Or just people who are lurking and think, hey, that's a good plan. Um, please do so. Please give your suggestions and, uh, in chat and, and Dahlia will write it down. Uh, we will make a poll out of that and people can then poll, uh, can, can vote for the poll for which uh, 
either one or two cities it will be. So uh, as I said, it could be uh, be be Rome or Paris or uh, or, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> With your most obscure airport. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it was. Yeah, it was my suggestion. It was my suggestion. I'm suggesting Lelystad for one. A H L A A A H L E. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm suggesting. My starting point, where it where it all started. So, uh, and what I will, will be doing is, uh, should I crash on a certain continent, I will have to uh, the option to fly from that save point, the closest save point, uh, to the uh, to the last leg of the uh, the flight where I crashed. So, yeah. <laughs> will Fertilla, a Will Ferrell shirt. <laughs> now I am trying to wonder what a Will Ferrell shirt is. <laughs> I know, of course, the actor Will Ferrell, the com uh, comedian, of course, but does he wear specific shirts? <laughs> Loved him, by the way, in Blades of Glory. He was so funny. So funny. Innsbruck Airport. Yeah, that is a pretty one, Kadila. That is indeed a pretty one. It actually has Will Ferrell. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure that's a good thing, actually. <laughs> now I, I suddenly see your problem. Yeah. I suddenly see your problem. But Innsbruck Airport is indeed a very, very beautiful airport. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Before Will Ferrell. <laughs> So, what are your suggesting, Flo? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ah, oh, look at that, guys. Once again, it's not breaking up. Apparently, there's clouds, more clouds above it. Or is that? Yeah, that looks a little bit like blue sky right there. Mr. Blue Sky, but look at that. How cool is that, guys? The sun hitting those clouds. It's so fluffy! <laughs> that is pretty dang cool. But we are making good time, guys. I really, really do see the benefits of, uh, of having a tailwind. A really good tailwind, actually. <laughs> well, he is married. And he lives in Sweden, I think. Actually, I have to admit something here. Now you're mentioning Adam Sandler. I have to admit something here. I actually enjoy a lot of the Adam Sandler movies. I actually do. It's like my guilty pleasure. Adam Sandler is my guilty pleasure. I have no clue why, but... I really do enjoy his movies. <laughs> well, there are a lot of... I, I like... I like... I know it's, it's all the same. Happy Gilmore is awesome. Happy Gilmore is awesome. I haven't seen the Eurovision one, actually. It, it's on Netflix, isn't it? I think it is. But Happy Gilmore, I really enjoyed. Just go with it. I really enjoyed. Blended. Happy Gilmore is so awesome. I really did enjoy that. Uh, he also has a stand-up on... Uh, yeah, I think that was on, on Netflix as well, I think, uh, Geki, wasn't it? it? I thought it was pretty cool, actually. It was pretty good. It was a lot better than I expected. Uh, than I expected. For stand-up, it was not bad. Yeah, of course it is. 
Don Don. Of course it is. But most of those movies eventually are. They are uh, in the uh, rom-com area, and yeah. So yeah. Only I think the thing I have with Will Ferrell is it either works or uh, it either works or uh, it it somehow doesn't. It's yeah. And please, Gecky, don't use the F word. We are a uh, family friendly channel here. So if you yeah. Oh, no, 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 no worries, no worries. No worries, just saying. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it as uh, as uh, as uh, cool with the F-bombs as possible. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. No worries, no worries. It happens to the best of us. No worries. Hence the family-friendly. You can let your kids watch this. They'll be brainwashed forever and probably traumatized, but hey! <laughs> Maybe not such a good idea. Funny though. <laughs> Funny! <laughs> but yeah, Adam Sandler is truly a guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah. Let's <laughs> watch Aerial Fuse of Farmlands for hours, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, well, you know, it's just one of those days where you have flights like this, yeah. I mean, usually people don't see this because they're speeding along above the clouds, but as I said, we're doing it low and slow. Oh yeah, we are doing it low and slow. So yeah. I don't have the family friendly tag on. I don't? I should have. No, you're right. You are exactly. You are really right. Yeah, you are. Let's see if we can change that. Uh, let's see. Preferences, channel. That's weird. Should have been on. Hmm. Where is it? Looking to see if I can find the uh, the tags. Those are the social links. Ew. Huh. Which is... Let's see. Mm. Well. Apparently I can't find it right now, but... That's weird. Well, at least we are trying to be family friendly, so there, yeah. Oh, you asked it already. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do listen to you. I listen to you quite a lot, actually. You are my zen. <laughs> yes. Oh, by the way, guys, we are now hitting... Uh, where are we? We are Zeget, which is a really uneventful town in Hungary. Actually, it's the third largest city, 160,000 people. So basically comparable to my hometown. So yeah. He never listens in general. I listen to the sound of my own voice. And I love it. I love it. And not only that, I listen to the sound of the other 33 voices in my head as well. And my psychiatrist says, it's all fine. It is. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Listen to the soothing sound of my voice. 
<laughs> That's the one? <laughs> oh yeah. I do love me some claptrap. I do love me some claptrap. Claptrap clap trap rules. Claptrap trap rules. He's such an annoying little twat. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. I just added the family friendly. I've updated it. It should be family friendly now. Yep. We are officially family friendly. <laughs> so come in, children. <laughs> Join us. Why don't you? Join us at our fireplace, our hearth, and our warmth. Yes. That's kind of sounded kind of creepy, didn't it? Yeah. Maybe went a bit too far. A little bit. Smitch. Smitch and a half. <laughs> Ew. But I do find it important to keep things like F-bombs to a minimum. Or avoid them if you can. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, came out of the clouds right there. That was cool. Let's see. There we go. Now, we are basically down to our last leg. Heading up to Belgrade. We are going into Serbia. Serbia has a population of 7 million people, so it's not a really big country. And of course it was part of Yugoslavia up until 1992. An unreliable program website. Ah, uh, it's a brand new day, Geki. It's a brand new day. To the child catcher in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, that th that's one is really, really scary. Actually, he was voted one of the, the scariest uh, villains in, uh, in movies for children. Children, get your lollipops. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he gets so under your skin. Oh. You have to watch the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It's an old movie. It's in Disney style. It's with uh, Dick Van Dyke. It's a incredibly good movie. Nice songs in there. It's just, yeah. Hey, Symphines, good to see you, man. Good to see you, good to see you. Delusional dude and the candy flutes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But there's also the child catcher in there and it's considered one of the most scariest villains in movies uh, ever. Next to thing people like Hannibal Lecter and, um, What's she called from Harry Potter? Uh, come on. The uh, teacher. Uh, she was horrid too. But yeah. Children, get your lollipops. <laughs> that was truly really scary. Umbridge, thank you. Yep, Dolores Umbridge. She's also one of the uh, karate katakate spots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Flo. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, Sneep is a nice guy. Snape is, Sneep is a very nice guy, actually. He's a really understood, misunderstood character. I think Sneep is one of the best characters in Harry Potter, to be honest. <laughs> Plain Weetabix, ooh. Or as we like to call it, wallpaper in a bowl. That's nice. <laughs> You're delayed again. <laughs> yeah, he... Yeah, he does. He does, but... He is, whoa! Did you guys see that? Th 
Was that a glitch or was that a lightning strike? Yeah! I think it was, uh, it was a lightning strike. I think it truly was. That was pretty cool. Interesting. That was the first time I saw lightning in the game. That was the first time. That was pretty cool. Hmm. Come on. Give me some lightning. You can do it. Thunderstorms. Oh well. No, 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 I won't swordfish. Trust me, that will never, ever, ever, ever happen. Uh, as I stated already earlier, uh, what I am even going to do, for instance, is... Um, uh, as of now... Um, uh, <laughs> you might. <laughs> well, th there's that. Uh, no, um... I really like the fact that people just can come in and have fun and chat and do and uh, do whatever they well what, whatever they like within within certain uh, sets uh, of boundaries of course but uh, no uh, the most important thing is I think that everyone should feel equal here uh, even if you are a sub um, and don't worry about that that's so that's never going to happen also at the moment because we made affiliate I now. Uh, will be able to add, for instance, emotes. What I'm going to do with that is um, uh, those emotes will be made available. A large amount of those emotes will be made available not just for subs, but a large amount will be made available for followers as well. So if you just follow me, you can use those emotes if you want. Uh, so I don't want anyone to be excluded here. Trust me, if you're lurking here, it's fine. If you're just having fun and watching, please do so. And if you want to, uh, yeah, maybe it's, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but we are getting custom emotes. Yeah, I'm working on that right now. So uh, I'm hoping to get uh, at least a few samples soon. But, uh, but that means that if you are a follower, you can just simply use those emotes as well. And the, of course, the subs will get special emotes. They will get, get a few extras. But uh, mainly it will be so that everyone can, uh, can, can add into the fun and have join, uh, and join into the fun and, 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 and well, ha be comfortable here. I mean, I really don't like it when communities are, uh, when you have to sub to just be able to talk or something like that. That will never happen here. Never. Trust me. I mean, we're all here to have fun. We're all here to uh, to. I basically I see this community as a as a big MMO guild, and everyone's having fun. Just just chat. Uh, no, there is not in-game money to unlock planes, uh, Swordfish. No, unfortunately not. You have to pay real-world money to get uh, planes from 3D developers. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the way it's always been with these games. So that's not really that... I, I mean, a lot of people who now are getting into flight simulators are somewhat a little bit miffed by that. They are a little bit, uh, bit angry about it. It is completely in the line of, of what I expected it to be. It's, it's totally normal that you have to play, pay uh, uh, 50, 15 or 20, uh, 20 euros uh, uh, or dollars in um, in X plane and and older uh, older sims like that, it's it's really normal and and it completely is in the line of expectation of this game. Yeah. Well, yes, uh, Geki, you are quite right. However, with uh, with flight simulators, it it's a little bit different. It always has been that model, always. So, it's not really uh, it's. It's not really a surprise that uh, third-party developers are asking money or that deal 
there will be paid DLC. Yeah, it's it's really uh, yeah. It's not uh, people are getting angry about that, but I'm not sure why actually. Because if you play these games like this, yeah, it's always been like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As in Phoenix, uh, I mean, yeah, it's uh, i racing is uh, is also has uh, has that same issue. Yeah. To look yeah exactly and i mean you really have to uh you really have to pay a lot of money to make it look like this exactly that's exactly right in phoenix i mean the add of the world add-ons are really really expensive it's mainly third-party developers exactly yeah yeah and that's the way it's always been in 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 flight sims that's the way it's always been so it, it was completely in the line of expectations uh, in my case. I, it, I, it did not surprise me. I mean, there are a lot of people uh, who are new to this uh, who were truly surprised by the fact that you have to pay for third-party developers. But yeah, that's, that's just the way it's always been. Exactly. Well, glad you're here. You had a nice bit. You are having a nice breakfast, uh, Geki. <laughs> glad to hear it. <laughs> Hope you are enjoying it. Let's see. What's my ETA? Okay, guys, I think I'm going to uh, uh, be right back, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and Dahlia, could you uh, manage to chat for a second? I'll be back in a, in a bit. I'm activating for the first time my, because I really, really need to go to the bathroom, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm turning on navigation. There we go. Hope it doesn't kill me. It does not. Grabs the band hanger. You go, girl. You go. And I'm back. <laughs> I am back. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really, really needed to go. Yeah. Ah, too much hydration, apparently. Uh, all right. Off. So there we go. I did. I did wash my hands. Look, they're all clean. Ooh. Smelled kind of strong. <laughs> no. Kidding, 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 kidding. I wash my hands. They smell nice and lemony. Yes, they do. 
Oh. I am... Um, yeah, just a sec. Of course, there's something I need to do because I went to the bathroom. Open the window. Sorry! <laughs> so there. <laughs> Make it rain! Anyone down there? Eh, maybe they were lucky. <laughs> maybe they were lucky. Who knows? You don't know. We don't know. Ah, for these emergencies, bombs away, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> bombs away. Incoming. Blue ice falling from the skies. <laughs> Oh god, I'm truly wondering how pilots actually do this. I think they just pee in a bottle or something. I don't know. I truly didn't think they do that. I mean, if you're flying for, for six, seven hours in a Cessna, holy the moly, come on. I do not envy those pilots. But... Exactly, that is why the reason why we have the autopilot. Yay. And, to be honest, I am flying most of this uh, by hand, of course, but especially the very, very long distance flights will be on autopilot uh, across the oceans because uh, the, the, the plane will be flying much more economic and much longer than uh, when I uh, fly it. So yeah, I mean, I will definitely not be able to make it uh, across a uh, six hour flight ocean uh, if I do not fly that on autopilot. Now we are getting closer to Belgrade, I think. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We are nearly on our halfway stretch from Zeget to Belgrade. We are already in Serbia. Yeah, we crossed uh, into Serbia, guys. This is Serbia. This is Serbia. Doesn't differ that much from Hungary, I admit. But it is Serbia. <laughs> And I believe if you follow this river right here, it you will end up into uh, in uh, in Belgrade. Yeah. And I think we are heading into a rain cloud right there. Yeah. I do play Battle Royales. I no longer play Fortnite, although I did play Fortnite Save the World. Uh, I played it with Andalia and Flo, for instance, and, and Kabilu and, and a few other peoples. Um, I think Fortnite itself is, for me, is a bit too slow. I do play Call of Duty Warzone, which is a lot quicker, and I like those games. If you, uh, As a Battle Royale, I like that a little bit better. But I'm really, really bad at Battle Royale, so yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad at those games, and I, I'm, it's not something I would be streaming or anything. I play those in my in my spare time. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not having a lot of spare time of late. I have to try and work out uh, how to get the hang of a Airbus 320 and being able to fly that because I promised Malvius Gaming that I will be flying a long distance flight with him. So yeah. Oh, yeah, save points for Europe, guys. Um, as Zendalia already stated, and uh, uh, we uh, are at the moment are uh, uh, want to have some suggestions from you guys for save points in Europe, uh, on the European continent. Should I crash, I have to fly from there. So, yeah, uh, not only do we have suggestions, we will make a poll out of that. You guys can vote on it, and uh, I hope you are being gentle with me. Please be gentle, please be gentle. So yeah. So for instance, I suggested... Um, I suggested Lelystad because that's the, 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 the airport I started from. Lelystad in the Netherlands. Um, uh, Kadilu uh, suggested Innsbruck 
which is really cool because that's basically in the middle of Europe, but it's also in the, or in the middle of Western Europe actually, but it's also in a valley. It's really nice, um, and I have to get. Should I crash before I get there in in uh, in uh, Switzerland uh, or no um, Austria? Uh, I will. Uh, Milan, very nice. Milan, darling. You have to fly from Milan. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm not quite fashionable, but I do have to fly from Milan, darling. Mm, of course. <laughs> Milan is, by the way, very cool. Yeah, I've already flown over Milan from uh, from the lakes down into uh, into Milan. If should all right, should I uh, uh, crash and have to start from Milan? By the way. I will cue the Monroe. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> For those uh, that watch Top Gear, that's a definite Top Gear slash uh, Jeremy Clarkson uh, quote right there. Cue the Monroe. But Italy is truly really beautiful to fly around. This is... Although the countryside really isn't that exciting, and let's face it, it isn't. Uh, it's not that it's not pretty. I, th I believe it is very rural. I like it, but Verona is also very nice. Verona is also very nice. Yeah. Um, I do love the way the clouds work and everything. It's. I mean, there's always something great to look at, at in this game, even if it's not very, very, it, it, even if it's uneventful. It's still very, very much eye candy, in my opinion. I mean, let's face it, the plane itself is already pretty damn cool. You can even see, ha! Huh, you can even see the 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 uh, MDF and the PDF inside. That is truly really cool. That is actually what I see when we're in the cockpit. I mean, that's that. That is exactly that. Cool. Airbot 1000. I don't know who that is, actually. I may have to look him up. If he's cool, we may do a raid. Yep. If he's cool, we'll, we'll, we'll look that up. No problem. No problem whatsoever. I'm always open for suggestions. I'm open for suggestions. So yeah. But that was pretty cool. I didn't notice that you actually could see the uh, the 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 working PDF and MDF. That was really cool. Those two screens right there. That's the Garmin uh, Garmin uh, autopilot uh, system uh, Latvia. <laughs> Okay, that's another one, Latvia. It is where it, where it, uh, near where is that uh, flow? Is there a town near there or an airport? Ooh, really, really low-hanging clouds here, guys. Really low-hanging clouds. But we are getting close to... Uh, we are getting close to, uh, to Belgrade. Yep. Near Vilnius. Really, actually, I think we are hitting Vilnius in a, in a few months' time. I am pretty sure that's the central bit. Really, it is. Yeah, I got that one also on my list. Yeah, I got that airport actually on my list. Really, that's the central point. Yeah, okay, but it, that's only if you take um, uh, Scandinavia. Also, uh, Scandinavia is also, of course, a part of Europe, so it's not that strange actually. It's not that strange. And of course, if you calculate Russia with that, 
And Russia is, of course, a part of Eastern Europe. It is, but... That actually makes kind of sense, if you look at the European map. I always thought it would be something more in the in the line of uh, of the Czech Republic somewhere, but yeah, that actually makes kind of sense. Defeated by logic, yar, logic, r. You thwarted me again. <laughs> Although I am somewhat of course, so let's... Of course I am of course. <laughs> of course I'm of course. Yeah, especially in autumn. <laughs> especially in autumn. But it still looks really cool. To me this looks really, 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 really cool. I mean, especially with the god rays and stuff like that. I mean, that looks pretty. That looks pretty to me. Definitely. And it's mostly down, down to... You know, this game is never a letdown to me. Never. Ever, ever, ever. It's so cool. I mean, it's so, so... Either the scenery looks great, or the... the uh, or the weather makes you makes you makes your jaw drop or or it and this is real life weather guys this is what it looks like there at the moment so yeah it is so cool to me and, and, and i mean i must admit this is not the most spectacular of 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 sceneries it isn't it isn't well, it's not that it's bad. I mean, a lovely countryside right there, through the forest. Really pretty. Not sure what that is. Kind of strange piece of water. You, you, you think that would stretch out into this river, but yeah, maybe it's a glitch. And maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, it's it's. To me, it, it, this game never, ever, for one minute, has this game disappointed me. Never. An underground river, yeah. An underground river. Oh, hydrate. There we go. Thank you. I felt kind of parched. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. Contact approach. Alright. How far off are we? 30 nautical miles to go, guys. 30 nautical miles. Then we are there. Oh, yeah. So that's about half an hour, I think. No, less, 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 less than half an hour. Less than half an hour. And there are a few things we can uh, try to find. 14 minutes. Yeah, okay. There are a few things we can try to find. For instance, there is the Belgrade Fortress, which we are can try to find. Acknowledge the handoff. And there are a few of the Church of Saint Sava. Now it will probably not be depicted very correctly, let's face it, but still we can try to find it. We can try to find it. And I still don't like those new voices. I still don't. I like the older ones better. Still don't like them. 
sound a bit too... So, yeah. And what I didn't know, by the way, was that Serbia is one of the largest producers of Fiat cars in Europe. Never knew that. That's also what I like. Each, each well, not every morning, but... Once, if I plan my flights, I usually try to find facts on Wikipedia about the cities we are flying over and the country we are flying over, flying across. Just so I know that... Um, so I know what's going on. I like that for myself and I also write that down. I have notes and everything. But you get to know things you never knew before. I mean, it's, it's really interesting to see what kind of foodstuffs or, or, or product country produce or I really like that actually I really do like that for instance Belgrade not only the capital of course of Serbia but also has 1.1 million uh, a population of 1.1 million so that's pretty big actually Considering that uh, that the entire country uh, has a population of 7 billion. Ninety-five percent of the world's raspberries come from Serbia. You're kidding? Really? Really? Is that true? That would, that would be... That's an actually... <laughs> that's, I think that's actually a cool fact. <laughs> That's actually a cool fact. It does? It has a rainforest? Huh. Well, it's not down there, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's not down there. But that's pretty cool. In the comic flights, we are flying over a few national parks and stuff like that. A few really cool things. I think in, we will be flying over a national park in Romania, which is really cool. Oh, what's that uh, for us? Oh. That's pretty cool. Actually, I think... Are we crossing that? I'm not sure. I think we might be. No, no, no. We won't be crossing that, unfortunately. But maybe. Maybe I can plan it in for tomorrow. Because tomorrow we will be flying towards... Uh, Sofia, I think. Belgrade From Belgrade to, to Sofia. Yeah. And then on to Plovdiv. Is that Belgrade? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what tomorrow's flight exactly is. I have planned it, but... Let's see. Yeah, Plovdiv. Yeah, Belgrade to... Uh, to uh, and then on to... Uh, from uh, Sofia and Plovdiv on to Bucharest. In Romania. And that's where, we'll, where we will be ending on Friday. They did. Yeah. Um, I believe. Um, one of the guys that. Um, that dressed the uh, the astronauts uh, was actually uh, an Eastern European, uh, so that might have been at the time. So that might have been an, uh, a Serbian. That wouldn't surprise me.
<laughs> There's a pyramid-shaped mountain, there is. <laughs> Did aliens build it? You don't know. You don't know. Really? Maybe I think that's more luck than anything else. Or a mountain shaped pyramid. Well, apparently. You can find, uh, talking about uh, Mexican uh, temples and stuff like that, Mex Mexican pyramids, there are a, a number of pyramids, I think, that they found uh, that, uh, that are depicted correctly, if I'm not mistaken, in Mexico and in uh, Chile and Argentina, Chile, I think, yeah. As well, yeah. But that will be a long, long way off. That will be a long, long way off. That will be a long, long while, unfortunately. On the one hand, I'm looking forward to uh, to uh, this flight in its entirety, and on the on the other hand, I really want to fly over over things like, as I said, the Caribbean or, or, or South America, North America or, or Asia, you know, it's Africa. I'm really looking forward to those continents as well. I really am looking forward. Yes, we are landing in Belgrade, uh, Flo, Flo, yeah. We are landing in Belgrade, exactly. We are landing on Belgrade. Um, Nikola Tesla Airport, to be exact. What do we need to find? You just locate me. Uh, you, you you just point me around, and I'll I'll see if we can I'll see if we can find it. Because uh, it's uh, already there in the distance. We are nearing Belgrade. Let's see. Uh, Belgrade, Belgrade, Belgrade. Where are you on the map? There you are. So there we go. Okay. I've zoomed on, uh, zoomed in on my map as well, uh, Flo. So I can make sure that uh, if you uh, if you find it, you can direct me straight at it. But there we have Nikola Tesla Airport. That's right there. So let's see. We should be away a seven nautical miles. Yeah, we're getting close now. We are getting close. We are getting close. And the one thing at least I want to find is the location of Castle uh, Castle Belgrade. Let's see. Ah, yes. Okay, so... Uh, I think I know... Alright. Let's see if we can find that. Hiya, hiya, Blackbeard. Hiya, good to see you, man. Good to see you. You joined us for uh, the last part, unfortunately, of our flight. We are now uh, nearing Belgrade. The flight itself was somewhat uneventful, unfortunately. Uh, not many landmarks, not many cool things to see. But we had a nice chat with everyone. I am uh, currently uh, looking, uh, as you can see, right there is Belgrade in Serbia. So, uh, yeah, today we are heading... Uh, heading to from Hungary, we flew from Budapest onto uh, onto Serbia. So uh, we already have Nikola Tesla's airport here, but we want to uh, want to see if we can find a few landmarks here. There aren't really landmarks in the game themselves, but uh, of course uh, there are landmarks in real life. So we 
going, we're going to see if we can find them. Unfortunately, there's also not an um, not a scenery pack for for Serbia available. So that's uh, that's a bit of a pity, though. It the things we are looking for probably will be looking like office blocks and stuff like that. <laughs> that's just the way the game is at the moment, unfortunately. So I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Hope you do. But yeah, then we will. Uh, after that, we will be uh, setting down uh, right there. On Nikola Tesla Airport. Right there, I think. Yeah. But first, we are looking for... The first thing I am looking for, actually, is Belgrade Castle. That should be there. And the suggestion flow made was right behind it. And that's a church, apparently. A really nice looking church. That's the, if I'm not mistaken, the Church of Saint Sava. And that should be over there in the distance. That should be over there in the distance, yeah. Hey, Warrior, good to see you, man. Good to see you here. Good to see you. It apparently is pretty big. Yeah, it should be right over there. So this right here should be the ruins of uh, the uh, Belgrade Castle. And on there is the Church of St. Sava. And then on a hill right over there, there is uh, Avala Tower, which is also a... Uh, a, uh, a site in... Uh, Something to see in, in Belgrade, something to visit. But this is Belgrade Castle. Or the ruins of Belgrade Castle, actually. Look to the left, right there. Yeah. You won't see anything on the right. Honestly, honestly, Flo, honestly. <laughs> oh, you're such a dude. <laughs> Well, this is uh, a office block, but in actual life, it is Belgrade Castle, right down there. So, that should mean that, uh, let's see, somewhere over there, I think it's over there, uh, Flo, I think that's it. That's, I think that's the uh, St. Sava Church. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty sure. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. This is the church. Unfortunately, it's also not depicted very well. Oh, it's not depicted. It's just depicted as a flat picture, actually. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a pity. But it is the church. Yeah. That's a bit of a pity. That's a shame. Oh. Apparently the AI had no clue what that was. Couldn't make heads or tails of it. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, that's the location. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Unfortunately, unfortunately. So, yeah. And a few stadiums there that's also not depicted very well. Nah, you win some, you lose some, I think. Alright, let's see if I can... Uh, Get us onto the airport. Nearest airfields. Yeah, it is. It kind of is. Tune into the tower. And we request a full stop tower landing. Runway 30. All right, runway 30 is, I believe, right there. 
right there. So, I believe that's runway 30, actually, guys. Yep, that's runway 30. That's runway 30. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can make a butter smooth landing, guys. Butter smooth. First, uh, let's uh, get uh, get the speed down a little bit. <laughs> That's uh, very important. Yes, there are a lot of friends, uh, friends and family also in my chat, actually. <laughs> and I'm paying them quite, uh, quite uh, handsomely, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm a Scrooge. I'm not paying anyone. No one. <laughs> 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 you guys are getting paid. <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> no, don't worry. Don't worry, Flo. Don't worry. What's money? <laughs> All right. Flaps. Don't pull your nose up on me. Yeah, this is going... This is going not that bad. This is going not that bad. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. Nearly there, nearly there. No, they won't, uh, Swordfish. I requested it. The, the, the landing strip is mine. It's all mine. It's mine. I'm such an... I'm such an... <laughs> I, I want it all. I want it all, and I want it now. <laughs> yeah, it, somehow it doesn't seem to work, uh, Don Don. It doesn't seem to work somehow. I have no clue why. Well, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, a bit too low. Stop beeping. Right, right. This is this is going not bad at all, actually. Oh yeah, and we are down again, guys. We are down again. Okay. That uh, that was once again a very very. Okay, landing, I guess. You don't hear me complaining. Now, we need to get... Uh, need to taxi our plane. The plane, the plane! Now, where can I get off? This airstrip. He said, quickly. <laughs> Yes, I'm exiting the runway when I'm able. So, where am I able, actually? Where's this thing taking me? Oh, it's there. Now for a three-hour taxi, as usual, yeah! Turn on the taxi lights. There we go. 
Where's this thing taking me? Yeah, I want to, but... I have no clue where it's taking me. Come on. I need to get up somewhere here. I'm pretty dang sure. Um, hello? All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Sorry about that! Uh, I can I can get off here. here. Yeah, this should be it. There it is. There it is. Yes, it was already. Yeah, well, I don't know. You gave it to me. Taxi Round to parking. So what did you put in it, dear? <laughs> Highlight reel. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Yep. It's basically saying I should go to downtown Belgrade. Yeah. Again. I'm going way too fast, by the way. Ground speed is way too high. I acknowledge. Love you too, Tower. Love you too. Another beautiful day and a beautiful flight indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, as I said, the flight itself was... Oh, the traffic, yeah. What's it doing there? But yeah, the flight itself was really not that uh, interesting, let's say. Let's see. <laughs> Best taxi ever. <laughs> Thanks, dear. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Flo. Thank you very much for accentuating my pain. Thank you. <laughs> oh, joys. That's going to end up on Instagram, isn't it? Yep. Yep, it is. <laughs> Why is it following the taxiway? Go away! Go away! Whoa! <laughs> Holy the moly! So? That guy apparently wanted to die or something! Make a blooper list. <laughs> we will. <laughs> and it will be long. And arduous. <laughs> but mostly long. Very long. Probably be longer than all my flights together. <laughs> oh, there we are. There we are. There we are. Here we go. Here we go. Nearly there. Well, that's a bit short. We're off again. <laughs> push! Push! There we are. Heading towards my parking spot. And we are... Done. We are done, guys. We have landed once again. We are now in... Uh, there we are. Yes, we have landed in, uh, where have we landed? We have landed in Serbia, at least. Yep. Belgrade. I always forget Belgrade. Thank you very much, Belgrade. Oh, good God. Uh, yeah, we landed in Belgrade and, um, well, that was actually a, uh, as I said, it wasn't really an, uh, a, 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 a really brilliant flight, to be honest. Not much to see, unfortunately. Um, not that it wasn't pretty most of the time, but it, yeah, 
it, it's uh, basically more of the same. Well, tomorrow, uh, I believe, we are flying from, indeed, Belgrade to uh, Plovdiv via Sofia. And we are flying over a few uh, natural parks. Uh, so it should be uh, a bit more things to see. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a flight, if I'm not mistaken, of at least three, three and a half hours. So that's a, a little bit longer than today. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> just one of those days, uh, Flo, just one of those days, unfortunately. Um, more coffee for me. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it again today, guys. Uh, hope you guys all had fun as well. Uh, I always, always truly appreciate uh, your uh, your presence here. Uh, the, as I said, the more the merrier. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. We will be flying from uh, 1 p.m. to uh, to at least 4, probably around 5 p.m. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's hope we'll, uh, we'll have something uh, something better to watch uh, tomorrow than, uh, than today. Uh, I think it will be. Uh, to be honest um, Yeah, as I said, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too uh, So yeah uh, See you guys tomorrow uh, Same time same place and uh, hope you all have a very very lovely day Hope to see you soon again. Okay. Bye. Bye